remove this idea that Islam is a religion of peace. Islam is not a religion of peace. <laughs> there is evidence in the book of Islam called the Quran sanctioning violence. We drink the blood of the enemy, we can face them anywhere. That is Islam and that's jihad. Ooh. And our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he said, Anadha yuk qattal, he said, I laugh when I kill. And he said to his own people, Wallahi, laqad jittukum biddabah. He said, I come to slaughter all of you. Shalom, my name is Chaim Ben Pesach and I represent an organization called the Jewish Task Force, JTF. Our organization in Israel is called Hayamin Ha'amiti. Listen very carefully to this video because this video may be the most important video you ever see in your life. This may be a video that will determine your future. There is a Muslim invasion that is taking place right now in Europe and eventually that's going to spread to the United States. But right now in Europe there are tens of millions of Muslims that have entered into Europe and that have become part of European life and that are becoming large and growing minorities in Europe and this endangers all of Western civilization. Hadith, which are the so-called holy books of Islam, and you will see that their goal is world conquest. You like to die, and you all like to live. You like to go to your pubs, you like to see your wife and children, good for you. So don't fight the Muslims, and you will be saved. Muhammad said that there are only two things that you do with an infidel. You either forcibly convert him to Islam or you physically exterminate him. That is the meaning of jihad. That's what Muhammad himself did in the Arabian Peninsula. He either forcibly converted or exterminated every single non-Muslim in the Arabian Peninsula. And he himself personally cut the heads off of Christian Jewish and other non-Muslim men. He himself personally raped Jewish women and the Hadith recounts the names of at least three of the Jewish women that he raped. Mohammed, if he were alive today, would be a member of Al-Qaeda. This is a religion of peace? You can't be a moderate Muslim. That's like saying you're a moderate Nazi or a moderate member of Al-Qaeda. And we see the consequences. Look at what is happening in Europe. In Europe, we had riots for days in France. Thousands upon thousands of vehicles and cars and trucks were burned and destroyed. Hundreds of homes and stores were burned to the ground. Dozens of communities. Hundreds of towns and cities were turned into war zones for weeks. All of France was paralyzed. And in the end, the French Christians caved in 
and agree to Muslim demands. That police cannot enter Muslim areas. The Muslim imams in France, like the Muslim imams in England and in other European countries, have already said that where we live as a majority, police are not allowed to come into our communities. This is Muslim land now, in Europe, in the middle of France, in the middle of England, in the middle of Denmark and Holland and Belgium. They are declaring these areas Dar al-Islam, Muslim areas, abode of Islam. And all other areas are Dar al-Kharb, the abode of the sword, according to the Islamic religion. We have to understand what Islam represents, the true face of Islam. We are going to have a Muslim majority in European countries. In a country such as Britain, people would have their hands cut off for robbery, would be stoned for what you call adultery, hanged. If you have Muslims in charge of countries, with advanced technology, if you put Muslims in charge of countries that have modern economies and modern technology and the ability to produce nuclear weapons, biological and chemical weapons of mass destruction, you are guaranteeing, you are guaranteeing that the entire world will be put in grave jeopardy. This is a threat to all of humanity. And so we are urging and warning people, warning people in Europe and in America to wake up. We must have an end to all Muslim immigration into Europe and into the United States. We must have an understanding that there is not a war against terrorism. Terrorism is a tactic. Terrorism is just a tactic. The war is a war that Islam has imposed upon all non-Muslims. It's a war that Muhammad started when he created this evil religion. It is a war that has been imposed upon the West. The West refuses to accept it. Europe, America, and Israel are refusing to fight back, are refusing to accept it, are insisting we can't fight against the whole religion. One day the Sharia will be implemented in Britain. It's a matter of time. The threat is overwhelming. The threat is overwhelming. And future generations will not forgive us if we do not wake people up now and understand that we are in grave danger. We are enabling them to become a massive threat to us. We must develop the ability to form alternatives to oil. There has to be an alternative to oil. We have to render oil worthless so that the oil in the ground in Muslim countries, which is the only thing they have, that's the only resource they have because they don't produce anything, they don't create anything. That religion makes people retarded. It does not make people, it does not give people the ability to develop and create. The only thing they have going for them is that they have oil and that we remain dependent and addicted to their oil because multinational corporations want us to be addicted and dependent upon their oil even though we don't have to be. We have to create alternatives to oil. We have to render oil worthless. We have to make sure that they don't acquire nuclear weapons and we have to end all Muslim immigration. Those are things that have to be done on a crash basis, on an emergency basis. This is not just an issue where there are differences of opinion. This is a matter of survival. You can go to our website you can see our programs and you can check the facts and information that we bring to you because this information is information that may save your life and may save the lives of everybody you care about. This is Chaim Ben Pesach from the Jewish Task Force JTF. Hayamin Hamiti in Israel. Shalom.